Hi everyone, decided to make a video and go through the basic setup and basic operation of this alarm. There's kit that comes with a panel, manual, one motion sensor, two remotes, siren and one door contact. The door contact came in without battery, so I don't have the battery, I have to get the battery, but I will test alarm with um, with hardwire contacts. This panel it takes seven, seven wired zones on the back. Then there is a siren input, and also you can uh, put a speaker unit. There is also SIM card slot. Everything is connected. All is going to do. Switch on a battery switch and put a mains power power supply which is going here. Okay. Now so as you can see There is GSM signal, straight signal, which means that it's accepted the SIM card. Let's go through the, the settings and I'm going to try to explain as much as I can what this alarm can do. I'm not going to go through the every single one, but the majority, the main main settings that are essential and what they mean, I can I can quickly explain. So first of all. To enter a programming settings, there is a default code to program to go in into the programming settings, which is a default one is four eighths, which is one two three four. Please enter instruction. And it's asking us to enter fourth instruction. So first of all, we're going to add the remotes. To add the remote is a, we're using command twenty. The position of the remote is one. And, control and after that, we just control control press control any button. Instruction. So, two programs, the second remote, we press command 20, number 2, control 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 and control 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 So, those two remotes are being programmed now. Next, in the manual, you can delete those remotes um, if you need it. After that is going to be a coding of the defense zones. All the wireless zones can be allocated to the position. They have to be allocated to the position. There is 93 wireless zones and there is a 6 wired zones. The wired zones on the back, they are a came preset as zone 93 to 98. And from the zone 1 to 93 or 92 it's a wireless uh, devices it's a zones for wireless devices because we're using hardwire contact we're not going to program this hardwire contact it's already programmed we do have to program a motion detector so it's going to turn on which is works fine and we're going to allocate this motion detector as a zone 2 so in the menu again we have to go back to the menu for 8 Instruction. The command for add the device is number 23 and as I said we're going to put this into the zone number 01 which is wireless zone 01 hash and all you have to do is activate the remote so that is programmed there's also you can obviously delete the zone if you need to delete the zone then changing the password. There is a two passwords. One is password to program the panel. That needs to be changed, obviously. And the second password is the password if you are going to use a keypad to set and unset zones. So I'm not going to go through the changing the password. That is the same. It's a command number 30 and you just change in the password. Then after there is a time settings and clock settings. This alarm can be programmed to be armed at 6 o'clock in the evening and to be armed whole night till 9 o'clock in the morning 
without anybody pressing the buttons. So that's I'm not going to go through that option. Alarm number settings. Okay. This alarm, it's a GSM alarm as I said, and it can take five numbers, five phone numbers uh, to call. So when the alarm is activated, it will call five numbers. And it also has a three SMS numbers. So if the alarm is activating, uh, there is SMS can go to the up to the three numbers. And programming as well, it's done very, very simple. Um, in programming mode, which is 8888 hash, instruction. instruction, the first number is going to program uh, my number in position 51, and I'm going to put my number and, four, and 6, and press yes. So, so, instruction. my number now is programmed into this alarm, so when it's activated, it's going to ring me. I'm not going to go through the SMS messages, it's the same command, uh, only it's called 57 to 59 instruction. Um, now we can delete those numbers if we need. Here is the very important part, defense zone programming. 93 wireless zones, you can program up to 93 devices into the panel, but these zones have to be allocated. For the majority of use, we're going to have this um, this panel program for the access and for the real time zones. Basically, that you have a delay when you open the door, front door is going to have a delay for up to whatever seconds you need. Default is 40 seconds, but you can change that to 10 seconds or whatever. And it will be as a door alarm or a um, boundary alarm, so window alarm, doesn't make any difference. So let's program our zone, zone number one, the hardwire zone, as a zone entry zone, which is going to be delay zone. So in this case, that's the zone, even though on the panel it's zone number one, but within the alarm it's zone 93. So we're going in into the programming mode. Uh, zone 93, 93, we're going to set that zone as a um, as a 40 seconds which is command number 2 and then we allocate this as a door alarm as a to the alarm type as a door alarm number 4 and siren is on number 1 and hush so we program this hardwire contact as an entry zone the motion sensor is going to leave that as boundary zone and uh, that's pretty much it. So now, let's see how this is going to work. By pressing a lock button on the keypad, as, you, as I said, the wired zone was programmed for the access, so if I trigger this zone, it should give us 10 seconds, because I programmed for 10 seconds. Now, one, two. So it's giving us 10 seconds to disarm, okay? And now the alarm is on So next test we're going to do is going to trigger the motion detector. We're going to set the alarm, trigger motion detection, and let that ring into the system. So, um... System on. So if you press 1, system armed, if you press 2, disarmed, if you press 3, you can monitor, hello, hello, and then you can talk, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so you can talk, you know, there is a bit of your feedback obviously. Also what you can do, you can ring to the system and you can arm and disarm remotely. That's pretty much it. Um, I think I cover 
basic of the system I know it's only two devices but it is straightforward and if you have much many more devices all it is just follow the follow the manual and you shouldn't have any hassle thank you for watching I hope this was useful detailed explanation